Hey y'all, welcome back to Charlene's Crochet Corner. Um, I got some happy mail. And, um, I got a card. And it says it's the little things that mean so much. And that's true, y'all. It says, Charlene, thank you so much for your interest in my bags. I used as many flower patterns as I had. I hope you like it. By the way, I am also sending you some smaller bags. These are my test bags. Not perfect, but still useful. XOXO Deb, the Canadian crotcheter. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful card? And I have not seen anything that she has sent. But I am excited. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Oh, look at the box bottom. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful patchwork. Oh, look at this. All this is on the, the inside. I can't tell what y'all can see and what you can't. Let's look at this side first. Look at the beautiful blues. And the greens. Oh, I love this green with the roses. And the blues are just gorgeous. Oh, and this is a lot of pinks. And greens. Look at this side, y'all. Oh, and she's got her little tag. Look how cute. Oh, my gosh. I love flowers, y'all. My grandparents. I don't know if I've told you this or not. My grandparents, my whole life, have had a flower shop at their home in a big garden center and I used to stay with them over the summer and work okay these are some extra bags let's see what she sent I'm so excited I love getting prizes oh yay absolutely yay oh I love this. Look at the little bottom. I love this. I love this size bags because you can carry a small or medium project with you. Hook it on your arm. Not that I ever go anywhere hardly, but oh, I love this. And this one's lined in blue. I love this bag, Debbie. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, I love all the blues. Girl, you are such a talented seamstress. You are so talented. Oh, and there's an... <gasps> this one has a zipper and a thing. Oh, she made this for me. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, look at this one. This is, I'm holding it up sideways so you can see the colors. And then I'm going to turn this, this side so you can see the colors. This has got a zipper. This is fabulous. Oh, my gosh. This is deep, 
this is so nice and it's lined on the inside with this fabric and she made me a stretchy handle and I don't know how she did this is this a knitted eye cord or something oh my goodness Debbie oh look how she sewed down here at the zippers at the top and the bottom Oh, Debbie, I love these. I love these. These are so incredibly special to me. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm so, I am so, so touched by you doing all of these for me. Thank you so much. Um, I love them. This was the bag that I had seen about getting made and oh and it's these nice handles these nice thick ones with the good thick knots in them oh my goodness Debbie oh Debbie I think these are just fabulous this can be for a whole entire sweater if I ever make a sweater oh Debbie I love these I love these extras that you sent I love this fabric too I just oh I am just so excited I don't know which one to look at and love the best I love them all I love them all you are such a talented, talented seamstress. Oh, my goodness. I love these. Oh, I just love them. I just, just love them. And see this fabric for the handle? And on the other side, she's got different fabric for the handle. Oh, my goodness gracious. Whew. Oh, my goodness, Debbie. Debbie, 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 you did such a grand job. Such a grand job. And who would have thought about this stretchy little cord? Just, just absolutely awesome sauce. Just the most awesome ever. You did such a glorious job, and I look like a, a hag here today. Oh, my goodness, Debbie. Thank you so, so, so much. I just love them. I love them all so much. Oh, I can spend who knows how long. Looking at all the different pieces that you put in this. I just cannot get over. Oh, I love this. I love this one here. Oh, I love this one. And this one. And this one. This one. I really love this one. And this one. Oh, I love the pink. I love the pink. Oh, these flowers here are so... Oh, look at these. Look at these, y'all. Can you see these? Oh, my goodness, Debbie. How you pieced all of these things together. I just, I just don't, I just don't see. Look, y'all, look at this right here. Do you see this little bitty piece of fabric that she pieced in there? How you do that, I will never know. Look at this, how she's having to cut this piece of fabric into like, what is that, a trapezoid to fit into that spot? 
You see what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness. And then there's an opposite one from this one. This little trapezoid. There's an opposite one down here. And that one's bigger. Oh, Debbie. Oh. I just don't see how you did all this. I don't see how you put all these pieces. How you put all these pieces in this big bag together. I just don't. But, of course, I'm not a seamstress. And then how you put the inside in. I don't know how you did that either. Oh, my goodness. These stitches are just beautiful. Debbie, thank you. Thank you a thousand, thousand times. Thank you for the work that you put into these bags for me. I mean, you did an awesome, awesome job. Oh, my goodness gracious. All these tiny pieces. Look at this tiny piece right there that darker piece of tiny blue that's a, a piece that she put in there that is is it's thinner than a fingernail that little bitty width of blue there I just can't get over how you how you sewed that in there. I am just amazed. And look here at the zipper side. She's got a teeny tiny there, a teeny tiny there, a tiny little piece up here. Oh my goodness, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. If I could be a seamstress like this, I would be sewing all the time. I would have fabric everywhere. I, I have a sewing machine, but it's a real old one. And um, I used to could sew a tiny bit. Nothing like this. Nothing like this. Actually, really nothing. I've really never been able to sew. I mean, if I could sew a straight line, I thought I was sewing. I thought I was doing something. And I really wasn't. But this is absolutely something I will treasure forever. Forever and ever, Debbie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just so happy. I am so happy. I'm just amazed. I am just amazed. I just don't understand how you put all this together and made it work to be so many different pieces of fabric. Do you keep count of the fabric? I mean, how do you even go about starting this? I just, I just am blown away by all the different sizes and colors and shapes. All the different shapes is is just unbelievable like this like i said this little bitty tiny this little tiny right here that little shape that you made fit 
into that side of the bag. I mean, that is, that to me would be a throwaway piece of fabric. That little square, you must throw away nothing because I simply can't see you cutting all these different shapes. Surely you don't cut all these shapes and make them fit like this. Or do you? I don't know. Um, I, I just, oh my goodness. I mean, I've seen fabric bags before. Really never in person. But I've seen them on the on YouTube. And, um, but to me, they just did not look this, this grand with all these different fabric pieces and sizes. I mean, all the, the different, I mean, look at this box bottom that she made. Let's see. Do you see this little bitty strip right here on the box bottle? All the, the little pieces she put together for the box bottle. I just, I just am amazed at what you have done. I am just amazed. I am just floored. I, I'm in love with these. I am absolutely in love with these, Debbie. Look, oh my gosh, look at this. Look, can you see? Can you see this dark blue little line? That right there is a piece of fabric of its own that little dark line is a piece of fabric I just will never know how in this world you do this oh I can't wait to Put me a little project in this. And you know what I'm going to do with this, Debbie? I have just started knitting. And I am requesting. Now, my video that I've got going now is a video of a set of knitting needles that I got from a viewer named Karen that came from Amazon. Well, I am asking the knitting channels. Okay, let me start back a little bit. Give you a little bit of history on this. My mother, my two grandmothers, um, my special neighbor, my sister. I all asked them one time to give me something of theirs. It didn't have to be anything big. Didn't have to be anything of great value. Just give me something I can keep in my home. When I look at it, it will make me think of you. It's something that you had and that you gave to me. Okay. So, I am asking my friends who knit, if you have an extra circular needle um, to that you don't use or that you do use because my thinking is I want all of these people who are so incredibly good at knitting to pass their wonderful talent to me in their needle that they send to me and these needles that come to me that are loose um i am going to put them in this bag this is going to be my special bag 
for my knitting needles that come from friends, acquaintances, um, people who share this video, and I'm hoping I get a needle from Chatelaine Makes, from Hooking and Stitching Island Style Antoinette, Chatelaine Makes is Lorraine. I would love to get one from uh, Knitting Turnpike, Gina. I would love to get one from Kay, the Crazy Sock Lady. I would love to get one from Barbara. I watch Barbara Knits. Um, but these people don't know I'm alive. A lot of them don't even know who Charlene's Crochet Corner is. They don't know Charlene. But if we can share this and ask them to watch this, I would love to have knitting needles from all over the United States, the United Kingdom, from everywhere. And um, when I used that needle that came from Gina Pike or um, Lorraine or Antoinette or Kay or Barbara or um, Chevy Rail. Oh my goodness, Chevy Rail. Uh, the lefty, um, it's uh, Natty Bo, his wife. Is that the right name? What's her name? She does the left handed knitter, crocheter. I can't think of her name. Oh, gosh. But I would love needles from all of y'all. I would love a needle from Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, to put in Debbie's bag. That would be so cool to me, y'all. Um, but there's so many knitters out there that um, I would just love to have your talent and one of your needles. Um, it just would mean the world to me that I could put them in my bag from Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. I would have a way to store them. So, I am very excited to be on that endeavor to try to collect some needles from people that mean so much to me. Um, people whose talent that I just... I just am amazed at your talent. Like, I'm amazed at at Debbie, her seamstress skills. Well, she's got beautiful knitting and crochet skills. And one day, I want to be as good as all these people I've named and many more that I didn't name. There's loads of y'all out there that I am a subscriber to your channel. And I love watching what y'all do. And I want to knit socks, I want to knit shawls, and I want to knit me a sweater one day. And I want to be able to knit like Katya does from uh, the Hidden Pond Yarns. She is a wonderful yarn dyer. She has got so many beautiful yarns in her shop, and they are so reasonably priced. I have not bought anything from her, but we have struck up a friendship. She is a wonderful person. Um, please, y'all, go see Hidden Pond Yarns. She is a hand dyer that is beautifully, beautifully made. So, go check her out, too. But Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, thank you, my darling, so much for these three beautiful bags that I will cherish forever, forever and ever. I will cherish these three bags. Thank you so much, my friend. Peace out, y'all.